Okay, guys, welcome back. I be here is Wazico Graphics GH, and my name is Isahara. And today, I'm going to take you through the process on how to design a makeup fire like this one you are seeing on the screen. So, let's get into So, in this is the software we are going to use, and this is the resources we are going to use. So, every on here everything in here will be in the description for you to download and try your hand on it so let's get into the photoshop or photo p so first we go to the new and we create a new layer and here i'm like using millimeters so i'm going to set this to 203 and 203 which is a square then and set the resolution to 300 the reason why I always set my resolution to 300 is because for me to have a very big size so that when zooming it it won't be a problem for me that's why I always like using 300 and it's advised that if you are doing it for prints then you must use 300 as your resolution okay so now we have created a new layer so now here is our new layer and the next thing we are going to do is this we are going to bring in our background we are going to bring in our background and this time we are going to use drag and drop to bring in our background so here we are so here we have our background already pasted in it so great at times you will not have it you will not have it cover all the page so if you don't have it cover all the page what you will do is you will stress it out to cover all the page so let's create some color field under it so here is our color field so now we are almost done so we right go to the filter we click on the fashion accessories the background go to the filter then we set we add a gradual blur so like this so let's say seven is okay but let's use let's say nine is okay so we we add a gradual blur to it then the next thing we are going to do is to bring in our image this image is in a pgn so we bring in our image like this we right click on it rasterize it then control plus T to transform it we use the size like this then we place somewhere here Here we are. So the next thing is the next thing is to draw bring in these pictures. One one two three then four. So now we are going to bring in these pictures. But first of all, let's create some shapes. So we pick our rectangular mark, rectangular cell, rectangular two, then but first of all, let's bring in. Let's bring. let add some to it. So, okay. So here is guidelines. Okay. So, uh -huh. so 
there's a guide and that is going to help us in design process so something like this so now we pink but we'll go back for our rectangular tool and we draw shape like this okay so we make a and send it here so okay so we highlight both and make another this and bring it down here like this okay so now we have one So let name is the shapes to let's name the shapes so that I can easily easily be identified to. Then four. So four is this. Then three is this. Two is this. Then the one is this. So here we are going to bring in our pictures. There are two ways to bring in our pictures, and first. I'm going to show you both here. So I'll bring in my picture. Right click and hold and reduce the size to like this. Then put it on it. Rasterize it. Then increase the paper mass on the shape one. So this is it. Okay. So here we are. So I'll select both and give it a color. And the the, the reason behind this color I'm giving here is for me to identify the same so we go to two and this one, i'm going to teach you how to if you cannot drag and drop your picks in the working space this is the procedure you can use you go to far you come to open and place so you click here open and place then you find where your files are my file and the work so here the next thing is this so you click on it then you click open so as you can see it's already been done for us so you just right click and reduce the size let's then press it on Okay, control right click, right, right, then right click, you create a crepe mask. So, this is it. So, I will select that one too, and also give it a color. So, when we go into the third, as I always do, I like drag and drop. So, I'll go with this Okay 
So we do this size like this. Right click on it, rasterize it, and create a cripple mask. So, we get a little bit down here. So, we highlight both, then we give it a color, then this one too, and this. Another color. So the last one is a fourth. So we went to make in the last, which is this picture. Then we place it in. So reduce the size like this. Then we open the size a little. So, place it to right it, right, 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 then cripple marks. So, you have something like that. So, we select that one to and give it color like that. So, now the next thing we are going to do is we are going to set the right click on the shape, then We set some stroke, so here we give it a white stroke. So, then we give we give it a drop shadow, so something like this. Then we increase here. So you can see here. This is nine. Okay. So you can see. So yeah. We click okay. So the next thing we do is we right click on it and go to layer style, copy layer, then we come to the shape, right click on it, then paste another. So we are going to do the same for all, then, so this is the last shape, then paste it. So now we are going to select both the pictures and the shapes okay. control plus j then i will name it pick in shape so i will select this and this and also group it and call it and call it back back ground. so now we are in so the next thing we are going to do is going to bring in we are going to start with our test but first of all we are going to draw a small shape first of all let me bring in 
apply line here so going to draw a rectangular shape here and here is a rectangular shape so then we bring it up here we bring it up here we control as a we centerize it then control we deselect it so we set this to we are going to give it a color then we go to the right click on go to the blending option we set a gradient color and zero so we are going to choose our gradient color so we are going to choose our gradient color and here is our gradient color the gradient color is already set so let me take you through the s code so here is the how the gradient is set so you have your gradient color set so now the next thing we are going to do is to import our test so right click then as i told you here is the test we are going to use so we are going to have our service then come in we give it paste select then we set it to boot then we reduce the size a little bit reduce the size a little bit like this then we set this then we underline it so the next thing we are going to do is give it a gradient color so once we have already set this to the gradient there's no need for us to right click on it go to the branding option then and say we just right click on the one we have set the gradient to copy the layer style then we came to it then we paste the layer as you can see so if there's change you just go to the thumbnail of it so like then stroke then another shadow So, like this. So, okay. So now we are done with our test. So we pick our test again. Then we set. We select from here to here. Control plus C to copy. Then Control plus C select. Then we reduce the size a little bit. So here. Right click on it and paste the layer style we already 
have so here we have it so we select it and reduce the size a little bit then we give it an open open space so this so So we move our shape in the little bit up, then bring in here like this. So now the next thing you are going to do is I have some makeup kits here. So we we'll drag and drop it in here. So we bring it top. So with this, all you need to do is reduce the size like this. This is we put it here. So. Yeah, we have it all. So we select this, select this, and this, and group it and call it our service. The reason why I did all this is because of me to know each step of it. So as you can see, so once I turn it off, you see that it turns all the service our service off so the next thing i'm going to do is to bring in our social media handles so here i'll just select both drag and drop them inside here so okay now we have the in here. So with them. So you do the size. Okay. So, okay. I pick this one to reduce the size to here. So I said both. And reduce the size like this. So let me zoom it out for you to see what we are about, we are about to do. So, as you can see here. So. Pick our WhatsApp. Then we select it. So. So. Until like this. So the next thing we are going to do is to right click on one. Then we go to the then we set color overlay to white 
right then and so right click on it go to layer style copy then and paste it and go to let right click and paste it to the whatsapp too so now here yeah the next thing we're going to do is to pick our test to right click then it's millisecond and that's called unique touch so select it then we reduce the Reduce the opacity to the ten percent. Change the color to white. So here we are. So the next thing we are going to do is this. We are going to run number. So we pick our test two again. Come here. Type in and we set this to boot then this so right click we expand this let's do this Okay, so this. So okay. So so the next thing, as you can see, so I will select this and select this, this, this. And group it and call it from tax. So here, next thing I'm going to do is to bring in the name of the shop. So the name of the shop is Unique Millicent Unique Touch. So first of all, we are going to come with the Millicent. So we Click here. Okay. Yeah. Let me set it to the black so that you can see what I have typed. So the name is Millicent. So I will say the so let's say boot. Then increase the size like this. Okay. So the next thing we are going to do is I'm going to copy the style of the our service. Right click, go to layer style, copy. Then come back to the millisecond. Right click, go to the layer style, paste. But this time. I will take off the underline from it. So here we have our difference. Yeah. So the next thing you are going to do is the next thing you are going to do is to bring in the touch. Unique touch. So, so now we are going to select our test again and type in unique touch. See? 
Let me see. Let's the next. Reduce the size a little bit. That's it. Twenty-five. Then we we'll come to the here. Reset. Alex. The name on the front is Alex. So here we have it here. So we open the side a little bit like this. So we have something like this. So now we are going to right click on it, then paste the layer style we have already copied. So something like this. Then you go into it. Reduce the stroke a little bit like this. So this will be okay. So position it here. Then we pick the millicent. We end the millicent a little bit. Okay. So here we are. So we are done with our makeup fire. So so far so good. This is how this is the step by step procedure on how to design a makeup flyer like this one you are seeing but there is one thing to do here so we write as for the this picture I'm going to apply a little bit so I'll write I'll go to new layer new adjustment layer and you can come to here then you can you can come to image you f then you find new adjustments then you enter into the adjustment then you pick exposure so i'm going to add a little bit to this so okay something like this then something like this okay so after i'm done so you can see so now it is done i will just increase this a little bit like this so okay And this is how to design a makeup fryer for your makeup shop or for your social and, and the front and the front use the link of the front to be in the description for you to download and then try your hands on it thank you so much once again this is Waziko graphics you can follow us on Instagram as Waziko Graphics underscore G Waziko underscore Graphics GH. Then on Facebook is Waziko Graphics GH. You can the resources and the fonts, everything will be in the description for you to download it and try on. And after you have done it, you can let you can send it to me on Instagram or on the Facebook page as Waziko Graphics GH. Thank you so much once again. If this video has been a help to you, you can subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon. For any video we upload, you will be the first person to have it. Thank you. Bye.